The next part of Hippetizer we are going to look at is the Viewports page. Click on the Viewports page or use the shortcut button here. You can also press F2 on the keyboard. The Viewport page allows you to control the viewport for Hippetizer. So, if you remember, in Output Manager, we made a connection between the mix and the output with the viewport. So, if your viewport takes up the whole of your output, this will control the whole of your output. If your viewport takes up a quarter of your output, it will only control a quarter of it. It will allow you to do individual keystone for each projector, change the position, put a video mapper on, or any other effects, warping, etc. The first option here we have are the effects. The effects that may be used on a viewport are the soft edge effect. So by tapping S on the keyboard, we can scroll through all of the effects that begin with an S. If I was to choose soft edge left, this will make the edge of my viewport go darker with a blend. So this is one way you could do a blend. The other way is using the blend tool down here. Now this will allow you to do an accurate blend if you know the overlap of your projector and the gamma the projector is set to. If you turn on the blend after typing in the numbers, it should get a good blend. Before the blend will actually enable, you need to enable it at the top here. There is also a warping tool here. We will look at this in more detail when we look at the screen warp component. At the top, we also have a color correction for the viewport, as well as the video mapper. At the bottom, we have live mask. If you would like to know more about the live mask, please look at the mixes video. Live mask was originally designed for use on the viewport and allows you to block out any set or anything that might be blocking the projector. We also have a pixel mapper, which if you wish to know more about, please watch the pixel mapper video and the NDI send. This will allow you to connect your hypnotizer to a visualizer. At the bottom, we have presets. These presets are for your viewport. So if you have created a warp or a blend, which you wish to save to use later, just hit record and put it into a preset. This means if you've done keystoning, geometry or blending, you can automatically save it and easily click it to recall it later. To name the preset, right click and hit rename. Also at the bottom, we have MPCDI engine. This is used for dome projection mapping. If you have an MPCDI file to load in, you can do this by dropping it into the correct folder in the Green Hippo Documents folder. You will need to name it with 001 underscore and the name in order for it to show up in Hippotizer. If you have a second file, you will need to name it 002 underscore the name. Once selected, the blend will be applied to the output.